What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. Um, few new things you guys may be noticing. First of all, hope you like the face cam. Um, not the clearest image, but you can see me there in the bottom right of the screen. Uh, I want to do more face cam videos, so there it is. Um, hope you guys like that new feature. Uh, as well as we are out of ESL, if you didn't hear already, Got in the top 32, uh, made it to the round of 32, lost again to one of the clans that ended up making the top four. So we keep getting knocked out by uh, these nice uh, high level clans that are very skilled, uh, which sucks. But uh, ESL is over for this month. If you're interested in applying for the team, if you're a Town Hall 12 for future months, uh, check out the Discord channel. If, if it's not uh, properly linked already, you can just uh, leave a comment and I'll link it again for you if you're interested. Um, anyway, that aside, today's topic, Town Hall 11, getting off Town Hall 12. This is a new age of uh, drag bat, and this is a in-your-face, uh, doesn't have to be a perfect base, just coming hard with the, the bats in the back end. And you can see, one thing you'll notice in these attacks versus some of the original drag bat videos I did, is that it's not always the cleanest. Um, in this case, there was a wizard tower that had a few opportunities to take out the bats, but it doesn't have to always be perfect on a drag bat attack. And we had so many, this is our uh, CWL war, by the way, against uh, Warzone 68, um, which I wasn't able to be a part of, unfortunately, because of ESL. Um, but there are, there were so many of these attacks, I had to make a video about it. Um, this is the go-to strategy at Town Hall 11. I don't care what people say, miners, this right now is working by far the best um, in terms of just sheer percentage. Um, let's move on to our next attack. Let's see, uh, number nine here. Um, and we're gonna notice a few things different than what we saw previously. And one thing is I've been seeing a lot more Lava Hounds used to tank for the, the dragons. The way to think about it is really um, if the air defense is going to be able to take out like one dragon, it's probably worth bringing a lava hound. It's, it's 10 more troop space, but also you get, it's probably going to last a lot longer than that one dragon because it's higher in hit points. It also, the lava pups explode, tank, trigger traps, stuff like that. So typically, um, the lava hound is going to be a, a good idea if you're going into air defenses that aren't going to be taken out right away by dragons or something. I um, mean, this is definitely the case here. So, um, Sui's the queen. I believe he got uh, Wizard Tower taken out um, on that end. Then just a nice baby dragon funnel, king on the top, main group of dragons coming in. And there's the Lava Hound waiting a little bit. Um, actually, because there's two air defenses, it's okay that one of the dragons gets targeted first. The Lava Hound will still do t uh, plenty of tanking there. Um, Slammer coming in as well. Uh, doesn't even look that great right now, I'll be completely honest. Uh, did, lost quite a few dragons, and then there's the top group getting wrecked by the baby dragon CC. Uh, but comes in here, a few haste for that wizard tower, I love it. You know, adapting, bats on the back end, take out the multi inferno. That wizard tower otherwise would be a big issue, but he has balloons there to kind of take that out. So even though the dragons really didn't get anywhere besides that initial right part of the base, the bats are able to actually take out more than the dragons take out. Um, come, coming down here has a nice giant tanking for those Teslas. I'm not sure if this was a cleanup attack or not. Probably was. Um, and these bats can just overwhelm these remaining defenses. So really, um, accommodating the bats by hasting in balloons was the key here. Even though the dragons really look pretty bad for most of the attack, still has three of them up at the end. So. Nice stuff, unfortunately something triggered a uh, trap there which killed all the bats, but has a few balloons up for cleanup as well. Gets the job done, I'm a big fan of that uh, creativity in an attack. Um, number 11 here, this one was a nice example of an E-Dragon funnel, and I'm pretty sure that I want to make a video pretty soon on E-Dragon funnels and P.E.K.K.A funnels, kind of when to use which because Funneling is, of course, a fundamental you do in almost any type of attack. And recently, we've been seeing people invest more troop space in the form of a P.E.K.K.A or an E-Dragon 
in order to do funneling for whatever the attack is, whether it's a queen charge, whether it's funneling for dragons here. So I want to make a video on that and kind of give my thoughts. So that might be a future video idea. But anyway, um, everything coming in here gets a great funnel with the queen on the other side. Always nice to enter where the base is kind of skinny because it makes the funneling a lot easier. Then back end freezes the inferno and just destroying that top part of the base with bats. Now there is a wizard tower that's going to take out some of the bats, but that's okay. They're splitting. They're coming off to the left here. Nice free spell allows the bats to get a little more value. Also freezes the air defense off of the dragons. And they're going to kind of peter out, but they did their job. And that's a lot of what this attack comes down to, is sending in dragons and then using bat spells on the back end, not to finish off the entire base, but just to do the job that's needed there. In this case, just had to get the top part of the base taken out, those air defenses. Sometimes there's going to be wizard towers kind of on the boundary lines of that top zone, or whatever zone you're trying to take out with bats, and that's okay. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, still a ton of dragons left up. Gets the job done. We'll fast forward here, a few traps are hit on the back end, plus a tornado, but uh, that was not an issue for the bats, of course, because they don't trigger traps. Alright, moving right along here. Um, we are going to take a look at number 13. It's kind of skipping by twos so far. Um, this one using a couple extra free spells than usual. Or at least one extra free spell than usual. Uh, heroes go down. Great uh, value there in terms of uh, an air attack getting... Archer Tower plus two Wizard Towers. That's definitely going to help uh, with the bat portion of this attack. And even though everyone's Infernos are on multi these days, it's still, there's lots of opportunities to exploit parts of bases that aren't that well covered by splash damage, such as Infernos and Wizard Towers that can cover the bats very well. Um, so anyway, everything coming through here on the top right of the screen. Not much need for a funnel up on the 12 o'clock area. The queen's going to pull everything in for the most part. And uh, the sweeper's an issue for a, a little while, but uh, it goes down pretty quickly. Unfortunately, no poison for all those archers, but I think the dragons, they're close enough to get the dragons kind of take them out with one or two puffs. And then a nice raged bat action on the inferno wizard tower combo. And yeah, there's still a wizard tower up on the back end on the left side there, but that's okay. The point is, getting a ton of value before he even gets to that wizard tower, that's the important thing. It's about getting the value while you can, and I think right here the wizard tower still can't quite reach, so gets the expo, tanks the air defense for quite a while so the balloons can move in, then has that nice freeze to just take some damage off his troops with the remainder, uh, for the remainder of the attack here. So nice stuff. Uh, and a ton of dragons left up once again, guys. So that's that's the key. Over and over, we see people not necessarily taking out all the splash damage with their dragons, but getting enough uh, using balloons if needed, or just coming at a different side of the base to get pretty good value with the bats while they can set up the dragons to be alive at the end of the attack. That's what it's all about. So we will fast forward and uh, take a look at one more attack, a little bit of a different style before we wrap this thing up. All right, number 14 here. Uh, this one, once again, using the E-Drag Funnel. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the E-Drag Funnel. I'm still on the fence about P.E.K.K.A. Funnels. I think they are, for the most part, good, but I like the E-Dragon Funnels better. Um, and I know some people disagree, but that's just kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, five more troop space, but I feel like the E-Dragons can get a lot more value for funneling. So anyway, heroes go down over at 3 o'clock here. Not going to be much damage on them. Then the E-Drag up on the top here. It'll get that Archer Tower, I believe, taken out with this next um, chain damage right here. Or actually, no, it gets it very low. Unfortunately, it doesn't get it down. I think the minions were unnecessary because they actually took some of the health away from the buildings that otherwise would have helped the E-Drag and get more chain damage. So it does a great job creating the funnel, but it won't actually get any defensive value, which is something you want to look for, is to kind of get into the base with those uh, chain damage and get the uh, defensive value by taking out a defense or two. Um, Queen's going to get some good value down at the bottom, two Teslas, Bomb Tower, Archer Tower, uh, Funnel is great over there. Actually the Archer Tower provides a nice anchor to pull in the Slammer, so it kind of moves in, supports the Dragons here, nice Rage, and the Warden, good timing on everything, right, as the damage is kind of heating up there. Slammer still moving through, 
and the sweepers are an issue but i don't think sweepers are necessarily a deal breaker i don't mind going in the sweepers that much on these attacks um especially if the dragons can be under rage for some of it but look at this four freezes this one is one of those bat wave attacks i like the freeze on the expos and the air defense might as well that's quite a bit of damage even though it's not technically a wizard tower because he has plenty of freezes just going to keep the wizard tower uh, frozen there allow the bats to kind of finish it off and this was just overkill honestly uh, still has one extra freeze left for that wizard or for that inferno tower which takes out bats quickly but it's not instantaneous in a way the inferno is actually a little bit nicer than the wizard tower because the wizard tower will do one puff and if all the bats are together then everything's gone um if they're all close enough together whereas the uh, inferno tower it'll take them out quickly but not like instantaneously um although the uh, inferno does have more range so it's kind of a trade-off there um you can also tank the inferno a little bit um some of the streams of it but check this out there's really only a one dragon a balloon and a just like a medium amount of bats left plus the warden of course so cleanup takes quite a while um probably a close attack in terms of time but gets the job done nice hit there bats are definitely a good cleanup troop if you have enough of them left so that will do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching Hope you like the new face cam I have set up. I didn't do my hair today. Apologies, um, <laughs> but it should, it should still look okay. Lighting's not the best either, but you know, what can you do on a budget here? So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Like I said, looking to do a video maybe on E-Dragon and P.E.K.K.A. funneling. It's a big thing we see nowadays. Um, also, check out the Kings. They're kind of like, I don't know if I like that. It's kind of creepy the way the heroes are moving post-update. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.